Facebook ads versus TikTok ads, $50,000 experiments. Which is better and which got a better return on investment? Well, in this video, you guys are going to find out. I'm Ben and welcome to Social Genie. We're a digital marketing agency which specializes in helping people like you grow their brand or business through the power of digital marketing. If you want more tips, tricks, and hacks to help grow your brand and business, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and join our family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. And with that being said, let's dive in. Okay, so firstly, some numbers. Let's weigh up these platforms and see where they fit in the social media eco space. So Facebook currently has 2.9 billion monthly active users and the Facebook platform well now called Meta also owns WhatsApp and they own Instagram which has 2 billion monthly active users. Now there's a lot of different numbers going around with regards to demographics on these platforms but just from my pure instinct I would say Instagram's more of a millennial platform. Facebook is starting to be a little bit more of a boomer platform as they say baby boomer platform. A lot of the older generation tends to be using Facebook a lot more now and I've noticed the younger generation especially people below 30 tend really not to use Facebook as actively as they did previously. So this is just from our experience working with a lot of different clients and um, the data sort of shows that people still have accounts and they might check it once in a while but not as actively. Now if we go to TikTok, TikTok has 1 billion monthly active users according to this study here and we will look at some detailed statistics here on the demographics for TikTok. So TikTok has 60% female users, 40% male and 60% of people on the platform are between the ages of 16 and 24. So if you're after that Gen Z, that real sort of early stage young demographic, then of course TikTok is the place to be. And the surprising thing about TikTok is it's not just people dancing anymore. There's a variety of different content creators on there now, creating an array of different topics. And TikTok is also investing heavily in improving their advertising capabilities. Okay, which is a better advertising platform? TikTok ads or Facebook ads? Well, I've actually weighed up the different ad types on both the platforms and it seems they're very similar right now. I'd say Facebook definitely has more advanced features in terms of targeting, in terms of analytics, in terms of all the other detailed features and you can get really, really granular on Facebook and they have been going for a lot longer than TikTok. They're investing a lot more into the platform. They're a lot bigger of a company. They have a lot more developers, etc. So they do seem to have a lot more advanced features on their advertising platform, but TikTok is catching up fast. But TikTok is also quite innovative in the way they will advertise to their audience. So for example, they've come up with the hashtag challenge, which is where you can have a trending hashtag, a trending song, brands can partner with different influencers, and they can basically make a certain hashtag go viral to promote a certain brand. For example, the skincare brand Dove did an advertising campaign using the hashtag challenge. They partnered with various influencers in the space and they did a no digital distortion hashtag, which did trend and go viral all over the internet. So that does offer some innovation coming out of TikTok. Okay, so which is a better platform in terms of return on investment? TikTok ads or Facebook ads? Well, here's a $50,000 experiment. And here's the results, guys. So from investing $50,000 split across TikTok and Facebook, here are the results. So on TikTok, there were 11 million impressions. On Facebook, just 4.7 million impressions. Clicks, 100,000 clicks, 106,000 clicks. Facebook, 68,000 clicks. And this gives a click-through rate of 0.97% compared to Facebook's 1.46%. Cost per click though, this is what we care about. What's the cost for every person that's clicking that particular advert? And the cost per click was 19 cents on TikTok compared to 46 cents on Facebook. So nearly half the cost on the platform. Cost per milli, that's cost per every thousand person that saw the particular advert. $1.82 on TikTok, which is a hell of a lot cheaper than Facebook at $6.73. So the overall spend was 20K on TikTok and 30K on the Facebook platforms. TikTok seems like the hands down winner in terms of cost per click on the advertising platforms. So shouldn't we just move all our advertising spend from Facebook to TikTok? 
Well, hold on just a second. Firstly, this study was done quite a few months back, and since then, TikTok has become a lot more popular as it is a rapidly growing platform. Now, advertising costs on these platforms are usually determined by an auction-based marketplace system. So if there are more advertisers competing for the same amount of attention, then prices will rise. And that is what's happening with Facebook right now. However, as TikTok is getting more popular, I also know more advertisers are pouring more and more advertising dollars into the platform then I expect their costs to rise significantly. Also, the second factor that you need to look at when comparing Facebook ads to TikTok ads is the type of traffic that you will get because not all traffic is created equal. For example, with Google ads, you can often pay a higher cost per click, but the type of traffic tends to convert better. And this is just my instinct, but I would suspect a similar situation may occur on TikTok, as the people on TikTok are looking at fast, short reels in terms of videos, whereas the people on the Facebook platforms might be spending a lot more time browsing, messaging, speaking with friends, etc. Thus, when they do click an advert, they might spend more time analyzing the landing page and potentially convert. Now, this is just theory at the moment, but I have often seen this with certain results from clients. However, TikTok is still a fantastic platform for engagement and getting those impressions at a real rock bottom rate. Okay, so what about the analytics and targeting? Well, at the moment, I would say Facebook wins hands down at the moment. They have a more advanced platform, but TikTok, again, as I mentioned previously, is catching up fast and they're gradually innovating and improving their targeting and analytics. Okay, so which platform should you advertise on? Facebook ads or TikTok ads? Well, that really does depend upon your brand, business, and your target demographics. Personally, I would suggest taking an omni-channel approach to advertising. So split your advertising budget across TikTok ads, Facebook ads, use different creative, different content on each of the platforms and look for your best results. And if you find one platform is performing a lot better for your particular product than another platform, then gradually move more advertising dollars over to that platform. It really is as simple as that. Now, if you guys are sitting there and you're thinking, Ben, okay, that sounds fantastic, but really I need some help with my digital marketing. Well, if you do, then feel free to reach out to us. I will leave a link with our email in the description below and we can help you put together a step-by-step -step digital marketing strategy. With that being said, if you did find value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. It helps out tremendously with the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet and joined the family, feel free by hitting that subscribe button, turning that notification bell on. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an incredible day and I'll see you in our next video. Keep growing.